the roadmap for mediation from a point where the parties are in dispute to settlement sort of can be broken down into three distinct phases. I mean, the first stage is the initial phase, and this is broken down to, I guess, the convening part, which is getting the parties to agree that they want to mediate, which in the early stages of a Mr. State mediation will take some time. Uh, and once they've agreed, then the, you know, the appointment of at least the first mediator or a process design specialist to move into the next phase at these early stages, which is the process design. These aren't the sort of cases which you will just jump straight into substantive mediation. There are a number of preliminary matters which need to be resolved and agreed between the parties and the mediator or co-mediator. So for example, you know, where, where is the mediation going to take place? Is it going to take place virtually, in person? Uh, will the mediation be broken down into different chunks of time? Uh, and other issues about who's going to attend, uh, how you deal with um, the public interest in these types of cases, so you may need press protocols. All these things are required to be resolved before the mediation proper begins. So there will be quite a lot of process design um, which is required with work between the mediator and the parties. And then obviously all the logistics about getting that set up. The next phase is the substantive phase of the mediation itself. Uh, and again, you have a, a normal an opening uh, period where the parties set out their case, if you like, uh, to each other. Uh, and the mediator also makes an opening, making clear how the mediation is going to run, reaffirming what was pre-agreed uh, in the uh, process design phase. From there, it's normal that the parties begin to explore with the mediator uh, what is important to them, not just their legal case, which would be clear, but also the much wider commercial uh, and often political aspects uh, that are inherent in, in these types of cases. And then once that's understood fully, and that may take some time and may be done over a number of sessions, it's unlikely that this will be done in one day or two days. It will require a number of different sessions with the parties convening then clearly they'll begin to make offers and, and move towards reaching agreement. The final stage is the actual concluding, and, and, and this may take some time because it may be that states have a particular way that these pro agreements need to be ratified, uh, and therefore um, the, the, the concluding phase may, be, may take a longer than, say, it would in a commercial case where the parties simply need to sign an agreement, and from that point on it's enforceable.